Hi. <coughs> Welcome to the C++ programming tutorials. Um, what I'm going to I'm going to show you what to do if you've got this virus checker here, AVG, which is free. Um, you've got to do something with this to allow you to use the compiler, which is used with the grips, because it doesn't know about the compiler, and so it throws like like messages that there's something wrong with it and it's a Trojan, it's not a Trojan, I've researched it and it's because the uh, people behind AVG haven't done an update um, to include the MINGW um, compiler and they've done it for all the major brands and all the rest of it because that's where all the money is but for for people like us who, who are doing it for free um, they've not done it yeah and so so what you've got to do is is the the place where you've got your text see your files right this is where you type in the code and then you turn it into an executional program which can run in windows and so so it's an exe program and the reason why it doesn't throw up an error for java is because java is not an exe file and so, and because C++ produces an exe file, I'll see if I can show you it. Binaries. See how it's called begin and it's exe? That's because that's an executable file that will actually run in Windows. If I cut and paste that onto my screen and um, double clicked it, it would actually um, do the same job as what it does here. So you're actually producing a pro working program. And this is what it doesn't like. It doesn't like the idea of this because um, it thinks it's dangerous. Oh, wait, this program's doing something it's not supposed to do. And it's because it's not been told it's a compiler. And so what you've got to do, that's all that's in here. And so what you've got to do is you come here, you go up to, you go to advanced settings. And it's, it says it's the shield it's doing it, it's thrown the exception. And so, so what you're doing is you come down here to exceptions. What I've done, I've opened this up here, exceptions, and you type in the path. See, I've typed in use this redemption, C plus begin, and uh, what I'm going to show you, that's where this folder is. Properties, use this redemption, C plus plus begin. And so that means I've got an, it's not going to throw. Um, say oh there's something wrong with this program and just brand it as a Trojan when it's not um, and I've researched it on the internet in good detail and, and that's that that is what it is it's not been told about it and so what I've done is clicked add path and added the path to where those files are and then it will run no problem um, and so I've also got I've also got um, def I added this one to it as well. Um, we'll go to computer, see, and def C++, and the binaries is there, that's where the binaries are going to get put in, this is where your source code is going to get put into it, and so, again, it's th that's using the same compiler, and so if he doesn't know about it and so what I would do is add path and um, go to C drive go to my computer C drive here ok now I've added this one as well so so def will, will work as well apply the changes ok and that's everything up and running so I hope that's helped and you can you can search it on it yourself. It's just one of these things that we've got a free fire checker, and you can imagine the amount of work it's involved. And if not bothered to to put in like a free compiler, as a compiler to let the fire checker know. And um, but they've, they've managed to do all the major ones, um, which you pay for. So so again, thank you for your time.